humans, welcome back to my channel. Come with me to Home Depot so we can identify over 100 succulents. Let's go! I am going to begin this succulent tour with the sticks on fire. Here is a beautiful cactus and it is the torch cactus. Beautiful, beautiful. Here is the agave fatal ultraction. Ultraction! So pretty. And over here we have an aloe T-Rex. That is so cute, right? An aloe T-Rex. So beautiful. And then right there we have a little baby protruding. But it's called a torch cactus. So here is one torch cactus and then here is a second torch cactus as you can see one of them is more elongated than the other while the other one has a little bit more dimension to it let's move on oh my god look at that one they are protruding so many babies guys they're both torch cactuses so beautiful i've missed coming here and this one just has one little baby here and then this, this is a second aloe T-Rex. Here we have a red, a yucca? A red yucca. I've seen these, these are very popular here because they would stay in the cold and the sun throughout the whole year. Um, okay, so we can move on to these arrangements here. This is a drop and bloom assistant cactus. It's a compact, here we have the elephant bush. This is a um, rainbow elephant bush actually. And here I think we have some Graptivarias or Graptivitellums, I'm not sure. And then here are some Kalanchoes, some beautiful Kalanchoes here. Look at that. Ooh! And I'm pretty sure you know this one by now. This is the Barrel, right? Golden Barrel, of course. Or the Echinocactus Grusoni. I always show you this one. This one's very popular here. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This looks almost like an Echeveria, um, I'm not sure, it looks like a, some type of Echeveria species, and it's very furry here, it's very beautiful. Here, I'll show you up closer. This one is actually an elephant bush, I have a separate video on my channel about this if you want to see it. And here is some jade, some jades. This one, I'm not sure. But I've definitely come across it once or twice before. I'm not sure what the... Oh, look, we have a bee. Oh, we have several bees. Isn't that nice? Where'd it go? Oh, it left. Oh, here they are. They're pollinating. Oh, they're so cute. I love bees. And, of course, we have a golden tooth aloe here, which I have shown you before. But this is what it looks like. It spreads out like crazy and has so many different offsets here, as you can see. This has caught my eye due to the fact that it's super bright orange. And I think it's honestly very beautiful. It is called a firebush lime sizzler. <laughs> That's so cool, right? Look at that. But, yeah. This is what they have to offer here at Home Depot. I'm going to show you. This is all the stuff that they have set on the table. The, what is this called? It's a croton. Beautiful. I love the white flowers so much. So much. I like that. That is beautiful. I haven't seen those before. This is an arrangement of cacti, which I don't hardly ever see together. I always see like a combination. But this time they have several of them all together. I think it looks really nice. No rocks or anything. And then they have these tiny little arrangements. which like fall color. They're so beautiful. I love those little chubby ones. Yeah. 
and then here are the same ones I think they have a lot of the the same succulents that I always show you but we're gonna try and name as much as we can so if you have this one here it has little red um, shades on the ends of the leaves it's a Kalanchoe Lucille Lucia I don't know how to pronounce that and then what is this I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before and I've showed it to you but it is a Senecio Barbatonicus and it looks like this it acts almost like filler if you want any type of length behind your succulents or if you're trying to construct a succulent arrangement definitely a good filler if you want something skinny and then let's see here we have I believe this is an Ionium Kiwi no it's actually not it's an Echeveria Chroma or an Echeveria Hybrid but it's very similar to the Kiwi actually no it's not because it doesn't have the yellow shades it has more of a pink shade on the outside but this one has yellow Look at this one, it's so cute. I love the ones that are like pink or purple. They're definitely very cute, my favorite. Oops, I'm trying to turn it so you can see it. It's a Graptobatellum hybrid, Graptobatellum hybrid or Graptobatellum Marquise de Savang. Look at that. All of these honestly look very similar to me, like this, like the Graptobatellums and the Graptovarias, they all look very similar. But they do are, they are definitely different. I'm going to show you this long one. This has some long petals, guys, but it's very gorgeous. It's a Graptivaria hybrid. So as you can see, Graptivarias probably have like a longer um, leaf compared to the Graptivatellums. They have more of like a widely, wide and chubby. But it's definitely very beautiful. This is an Echeveria Caribbean. It almost looks like the uh, Topsy Turvy, but very, very beautiful. The rosettes are some of my favorite ones, honestly. Oh, and this is the, the one that I mentioned earlier out there. Um, let's see what it's called. It is a Ripple Jade or Crassula aberensis undulatilifolia. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. But it's very loose, you know, it really doesn't have any type of shape. It's very, it's very wild, if, if, if I can see that. And then look at this one. This one is very interesting. The, sh the leaves are very thin. It's an Echeveria agaboides, Martin's hybrid. It's a, definitely an interesting one. Very, very thin. Maybe it just needs water. They have so many. Here is an Echeveria agavoides Martins Hybrid. What the heck? I am not entirely sure if that is correct due to the fact that the other one's also a Martins Hybrid. So one of these are definitely mistaken, but I'm definitely going to find out which one is the correct one because it has the same labeling. So this is a type of Echeveria probably. An Echeveria species probably. Let's look at this one. This is an Agraptivaria hybrid assistance. It's very long, very um, spidery, if I may say. Here is a Pichipitum moon silver. The leaves are very diamond shaped, like a rhombus. Like a rhombus. What is this over here? This is a type of aloe, probably. Yes, it's a climbing aloe. Ooh, climbing aloe. Very interesting. It's very thin as well. Maybe they just have, um, they haven't watered them for a while. Maybe that's why they're like that. But I'm guessing this is a, oh my God, this is a Vera Higgins. Wow, my Vera Higgins look very differently. I probably should take care of them better. This is supposed to, um, this is probably like a healthier version of a, what is it, Echeveria Vera Higgins? Why does it say Graptocetum? Oh, okay, it's a Graptocetum Vera Higgins, Alpelglo Vera Higgins, not an Echeveria Vera Higgins. That's what's um, different between mine. But they look super similar. This one's a little bit more pinkish. 
That's so crazy. I never seen that before. Where one of they're both called Ver Higgins, but one of them is a Graptivaria, and then the, the other one's an Echeveria. This is a ghost plant, Graptivitellum Paraguayanis. This is the one that I really love. It's probably one. It's probably my favorite after the Graptivaria Murasaki, probably, definitely. But as you can see, it's very rosette shaped. I love it so much. What is this one here? This is a Calendroia hybrid or Beharti. The leaves are somewhat different, as you can see there. Oh my god, this one's so big. This is also a Natchevaria Caribbean. It's humongous. And you can tell this one has been watered because it's heavier and it has some molding in the bottom but it's not that bad not that bad and i'm pretty sure that this one is the Herlebon Nurbeg yeah of course i used to have one of these but it died off um, definitely very beautiful is this a topsy-turvy no, this looks like a topsy turvy, but it's not. As you can see, the ends are curved on the opposite. Actually, they're they go both ways. That's so weird. No, they just go one way, downward, and it's an Echeveria cubic frost crust. So pretty, I love it. And this one, honestly, I have not seen it ever in my life. Oh, it's a silver coral. Look at that. It sheds the outsides. That is so cool. Is this one also a silver coral? Yeah, it is, but it, the shapes are very different. Ooh, look at this. This reminds me of fall. And it almost looks like um, like one of those carnivorous plants, but it doesn't have any teeth. It's a Peperomia gravo gravelins. Peperomia gravelins. This is what it looks like up above, and then on the side, it's this color. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry? No, I'm okay. Thank you so much, though. Oh, look at this one. This one's so pretty. They Actually, they do have uh, different ones. Oh, gosh. Is this an... This is an Echeveria Lilacina. Lilacina or Chalk Rose. I've never seen this one before. I want it so bad. This is so pretty. Oh, here's another good example of the um, the Echeveria Perlebone. Is it Echeveria Perlebone? Yes. So this is an Echeveria Perlebone here. And then this is one over here as well. Um, I want to see what this one is. I'm pretty sure it's like a Murasaki. Yes, it's a Graptopatella Murasaki succulent. So this is also one of my favorite ones because their leaves are super fat and I love that. And then this one is different. As you can see, this is a Pentandrum, I think, right? It's a, a Graptopatella Pentandrum Superbum. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Let's see what this one is. I feel like I've had this one before, but no, I don't think I have. It's a Calanchoi lung Longiflora coccinia. It looks like this. This one's also pretty well for arrangements, you know, where you're trying to fill in some spots. I want to see what this one is. What is this? It's a Sidibaria hybrid assistance. Sidibaria. It's so pretty. But honestly, these are like some of the prettiest ones that I've seen. Like this one here. And then what is this? I haven't seen this one ever. It's a Graptivaria hybrid assistance. So you don't really know what it is. But it's so beautiful. Look at the layerings. Oh my god, it's to die for. Honestly, I would definitely buy these. But I'm, I'm suffering from, you know, the mealybug infestation. So I would rather try to keep it limited. I also want to um, get a different spot for my succulents that are actually clean and not infested yet because I feel like if I just leave them together. This is an Echeveria Lola. Um, this is the one that I have, I believe. You see how it's different from that one? 
it's the endings are different they they fold differently at the end and then the inner is very different however this one's small so it hasn't really developed fully yet what is this this is an Echeveria subcellis variegata it's not in the greatest shape but it's definitely very beautiful still This is a Crossula ovata, or the mini jade. Oh, I knew it was some type of jade, but I was like, it looks too small to be a type of jade. So it's a mini jade. And then they still spray paint these cacti, unfortunately. Um, and these are fake flowers. I did not know that, but now I do. <laughs> of course, um, but they look very pretty with or without the flowers, honestly. Let's see what else. Here they have more beautiful succulents. Let's see what this one is. This looks like a type of pachipitum, but no, it's a moon silver. Actually, yeah, it's a pachipitum moon silver. I knew that it was a pachipitum because the leaves are very long and they are fat. And so that's how I knew that it was that one. I've showed you this one before. It has a really interesting name. I can't even pronounce that to be honest. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a Crossula candy cane. Oh, they're too cute. Too freaking cute. Look at this one. Oh my god, I wish I had all the money in the world so I can buy this. But this is $3. Look how cute this is. I just want to have it in my room and just and just look at it and touch it. Graptobatellum emulfistinium. Oh wow. Oh wow guys. It is beautiful. Honestly. Beautiful. Let's see what this one is. Oh look at this. Fall succulents. Oh too cute guys. Too cute. They even have the pumpkins. And then some that I want to identify down there. But for now, this one I definitely have shown you before. It's the Graptivaria Titubans. Titubans. Is this a black prince? It doesn't really say, it just says that it's a very assistance. It almost looks like a black prince. And this is an Echeveria multi catillus. Multi catillus. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. I love them so much. Oh, here's an interesting one, guys. I found one. Look at this here. Let's turn it around. It is an Echeveria parva. Ooh, a parva, huh? Cutie. Oh, this is the one that I have. But it's not doing very well here. Oh my god. Oh, it's rotting. Pour it. Here's a healthier one. Oh, look at this one though. I've never had mine grown this big. It's an Echeveria homersi. Or a push plant. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, look how tall this is. It is an aloe assistance or an aloe species. It is beautiful, guys. I want to see what this one is. I think this is like a jelly bean type of. It's a sedum rubrotincum aura. This is a Graptocetum California Sunset, one of my favorites. As you know, I have tons of favorites because I love succulents. And I think this is what? An Echeveria Black Knight. You see? There's a difference between the Black Knight and the Black Prince. Um, but this is an unhealthy version here. And let's go on. Oh my god, look at this one. They do have different ones this time. This is a Graptivaria Silver Star. Oh, and the endstone poke you. They're so soft. I want to show you this one. It's an aloe blizzard, aloe hybrid. 
a blizzard. <laughs> it's perfect. This isn't a Curiosity Plant Mini. So beautiful. Oh yeah. They have tons of cacti down here. This one is cute. It's a corn cob, Indian corn cob. Too freaking cute, guys. Okay, let's move on. Here are some more arrangements. This is a black. Oh, that's so pretty. And then there's some there too. Um, this one doesn't look very healthy, but it's definitely up for sale still. This is a sedum pachipulum. Pachipulum. They look like jelly beans. A sedum lime gold. Um, an underdeveloped, under, yeah, un underdeveloped and not enough UV radiation for these. Because even though it's a sedum lime gold, they should be a lot fatter and a lot more bright like a bright lime but that one isn't anyways I can show you that this one is a golden sedum beautiful golden sedum with um, calcium stains or heavy metal stains from watering but still beautiful this is a Graptobatellum paraguayanis variegata this is what it looks like oh my god I've never seen this one before I feel like I've seen some of these but they're called different names now I'm not sure if like I don't know, I don't know. Maybe they're mistaken sometimes, just like the ones that we saw earlier. So far, these are my favorite ones because they're so cute. This is the Graptobatellum amethysteum. I didn't ever identify this before till now, but that's what it's called, guys. Let me see. And then, of course, you've definitely seen this one before many times, and I actually bought this one. It's a Graptivaria tied to buns. Look at them, they're so beautiful. Um, let's see. I don't know if I showed you this one. This is an Acedivaria yellow humbert. So cute, I love them. And then, this one is the Kalanchoi Meloti or Helen Choi Meloti. Uh, so beautiful. Focus. Go. No? It matches my outfit. I should probably wear it. Ah. All right, guys. No, I think I'm okay. Let me see if she's healthy. Bye. Wait for my next video.